Hey everyone, today we're going to be unboxing the new Ryobi 18 volt half inch impact wrench. Finally, we're going to take it for a spin and see how it goes. Um, let's get to work. All right, this is sent right there. Cool. So this is uh, the tool. This is the bundle pack comes with your 18 volt 4 amp lithium powered battery with a charger and a little tool bag as well. Uh, this was I believe a Home Depot only deal. It is valued at a hundred bucks right now at the Home Depot. Uh, your participating stores so um, 18 volt battery uh, it comes with a three-year warranty and is rated at 300 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, now, with those 300 foot-pounds of torque, you also get 2,900 RPM with uh, 22 impact per minute. All right. First thing we get greeted to is the bag. Oh wait! Oh, it's all in the bag. Pretty cool. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, we have our uh, owner's manual sitting right on top. It gives us all the specs, warranty information, etc. Comes in a nice divider here. You got your charger right on the top right, your battery on the top left, and finally the unit. And this is pretty light. I like it. Let's take it out of the bag here. There's your standalone tool. It does come with a uh, this uh, ball ping anvil here, the locking pin. Triple beam LED, so we have that going. Here's your forward and backwards right here. Here's your three speeds uh, for, I'm gonna say, uh, maybe reverse and forward, huh? I guess we'll check it out. The grip is really cool, handles very nice. It's not that heavy. Uh, let's put the battery in it and see what's up. 18 volt lithium, four amp hour battery, right here. There you go. Ooh, look at all those nice pictures. I guess it's telling you that the OnePlus serves more than just for the impact wrench here. It comes with a nice impact grip type of thing on the on the sides here. You have your logo in the back. Here are your locks right here on the sides. Ah, and this is probably the button that tells you if it's charged or not. Uh, I need to charge it before I can use it. Oh well. And finally the charger. So it'll tell you if the battery's good or not. Right here, if it's charged, if it needs service, I guess if it's getting too hot or or whatnot. Yeah, it's a pretty brick, pretty big brick. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this. The way that I have my hutch set up here, so that would put it right there, but I can't. I can't unplug this here. I can't unplug it. I can't unplug it from the actual charger itself. So that's going to be a, a unique problem for me specifically. All right. Put the battery on and see what happens. All right. Not too heavy. Definitely needs a charge. Here you got your lights. And they stay on for a little bit, even with just the press of a trigger. So it, it can act as a flashlight, but no one really uses that for. Oh, here's something that I noticed as well. You have some padding, some rubber gripping 
things going on right here on the sides too. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now that we have that on, all unboxed, uh, let me charge the battery, eat some lunch, and then we'll test it out. Just for references, I put this thing to charge at around 11.58 and it is now 1.02. So let's see how long it'll take for it to charge. We're almost there. Alright, it has now been two hours. And it looks like we're finally all charged up. According to that indicator right there, it means it's fully charged. The battery itself also stopped blinking. So uh, now we can finally test it out. All right, so it is now a day later. Uh, I didn't get an opportunity to do anything yesterday because uh, we were out of work and it took too long to charge the battery. Uh, but in any case, day later we're ready to test it out on some lug nuts here now we have a fully charged battery as we can see here according to that we're gonna pop her in put it at the high setting which is a three it doesn't have the ring it has the little locking pin right there so we're just gonna utilize that heavy I mean you know every battery power impact is gonna have a little weight on it feels okay pretty fast put some wheels on see how that goes like a little a little pause there So I tried it out a few more times and I'm not satisfied. It keeps getting stuck. So what we will do is exchange it for another one. I'm hoping it's just the unit itself, not Ryobi's problem. So I'll return it or exchange it for another one and then We'll proceed with a review. Try this again. This is, uh, I think, day three of attempting to try the uh, new Ryobi uh, half-inch 18-volt impact wrench. Uh, let's see here. Battery should be good. Speed should be at three.
Maybe it's just me, but I felt like he got stuck again. Maybe it's just the characteristic of the brushless motor. I don't know, I'm not sure. We're gonna keep going. Something, something that I have noticed though is if you pull on the trigger slowly, it tends to go smoother. Like it doesn't stop, it doesn't halt like it did. So let me test my theory out here real quick. Weird. Not sure what, why that is, but it is what it is. have we concluded is the Ryobi half inch impact wrench worth it for 100 bucks yeah it's worth 100 bucks I mean I hate the fact that the trigger gets stuck sometimes but the more I used it the less it's happened so I don't know um, you can't beat the price and it's pretty fast I mean you know it does it it does what I want it to at least it just gets I don't like the trigger thing. And I thought it was brushless, which I mentioned earlier in the video, but it isn't. Uh, so that's maybe a setback there. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any experience with these Ryobi tools? Are they worth it? Are DIY tools worth purchasing as a professional? Or just better leave it at home and just save your money and buy yourself a Milwaukee. Anyway, mask up guys. See ya.